to start in these matches nowadays, and that process must be adhered to. Here we go. Underway and through. Could be underway with a boundary. It will just run away from you down there at these short, straight boundaries. It'll be overworked. Edgy and through. That'll do nicely. Thank you very much. It's a good first over for New Zealand. 12 coming from it. Injuries like uh, all young fast bowlers. Ah, oh, that's what he does. That's what Gupta will do to that ball that's just short of a length. Circle. And then a very backward point as well. They're unlikely to have a man stationed there. 25 without loss. I'm going to come out swinging. Oh, so close. And this should go for four as well. So luck is favouring the brave right now. Behind square. Maybe going to bowl a bit shorter. No. He's going to toss it up and he's going to get smashed over his head for six. And a big one at that. Oh, chipped it. Chipped it. Just went for four. He hardly hit it. Now that is control. That comes out the fingers differently. Boom. It just took three. It just took a few locks before Gutho decided to climb into it. 50 up. And therefore the short ball doesn't work either. Oh, he went up. He went full again and he paid the price. The line was different. But it's just as good a result for Gutho. Real Dynamo lives in Mahi, and the world knows that. Stoinis. Crunch. One bounce for what? Nearly six. This is a start and a half. Beautiful. Oh, that'll run away as well. What New Zealand have done tonight, apart from strike it well, is they've hit gaps. They've timed it beautifully. Colin Munro is looking over wide mid wicket here. Out there. And he's found it quite nicely. Looking and delivered. That length doesn't work so well. To... See that happening all the time. Oh, that's lucky. That could run away. It's a good chase, but Chris Lynn bails out. He's had some injury problems. That might have been a good option. How good's the timing there? Very, very good. 20 rows back. Half a chance there. You missed it. 107. Oh, that's massive. A huge strike up into the deep mid-wicket region. And Gatto has 50. Now, Munro gets it too. And Munro has 50. Unbelievably good this from New Zealand's point of view. That could have been brilliant. Get your hands around that. Can't. Just carries on. Richardson down on the boundary. It wasn't that far from him. It's early on, but you get that. They have capitalised. Oh, here's another. Fireworks are going over the screen into the crowd. Flake and the flirt and six more. Well, this is a line you don't follow, Munro. You don't. Oh, he has some more. Field is just standing. It's air time, not down yet. Poor old Andrew Tyve in him. This didn't go all the way. What an innings. Got them there in the first place. It's a length ball. 
This is going to be plenty more all the way. 11 overs, 139. This fantastic crowd tonight. Just a tickle, it gets to the boundary in a flash. Well, this is how Simon Dill and the build up said that New Zealanders would. Make. Sets himself front foot out of the way, he's gone through four more. Field is diving all over the place. Hands off it. Straight to the field, a deep square, makes no mistake. And this is where you've got to get players trying to hit it to the longest boundaries. The length was deep. Stunning. There's nobody there. Only the camera crew. 14 always. I don't think enough bowlers go to the Yorker soon enough. Well, that's just got an extraordinary shot. It's gone up in the air. I thought that's to me, on no. This will be four more perfectly placed. He is on fire tonight, Matt and Dutchel. He's down the ground again. Mid on comes in. It's over his head. It's six more. Yeah, this is what drives. Stay. 88 from 47. That is massive. That is just so high. Goodness me. It certainly went higher than it went longer. It still went for six. Trademark from Gutzel. Not looking once he's hit it. Keeps the head down. So far up in the air, Glenn Maxwell, even though it only went about five or six metres. 94, Martin Guptill. Crowd know it. Has it gone far enough? It has. It has, and Martin Guptill has his second T2000 on his backyard. Outstanding knock. Martin Guptill. Dangerous player, clean hitting of the cricket ball to all parts of the ground. Just checking that last one, but was signalled by the fielder in the deep, but hit the boundary on the full, which is six. Confirmed there and hit firmly. Oh, very clever. Very nifty, the confidence of youth. Good stuff, 206 for two, 16 gone. 44 runs conceded in two and a half overs. Now then, this could be out. Should be out. Is out. This time, Maxwell gets it right. And Guptill's magnificent knock here at Eden Park comes to an end. They're on their feet, and so they should be. Good response from the crowd. Even the Australians are getting in, congratulating. What was a magnificent performance from Martin Guptill. The low full toss was the delivery that brought him undone. Pretty close to that waist high as well. Maxwell in the deep. Very safe hands and the end of a great knock. Yeah, and economy rate wise, Ashton Agar has been the best of the Australian bowlers. Whoa, that's out. That's gone ski. In the most unfortunate way, Mark Chapman has to leave the ground. He's had his helmet knocked off his head back onto the stumps. So Billy Stanlake does have a say. Well, this is a dismissal you don't see very often. Quite a nasty one. It would have been a nasty blow to the head without the helmet. But uh, how often do you see the decided to give it a go a la the old days oh that's dragged on as well beautifully bold took all the pace out of it and a few hiccups coming at the end yes the inside edge oh, 
Yeah. This could be out as well. Yeah, comfortably taken tie in the deep again. The pace is pulled back. And again, Williamson can't find the timing. Yeah, you're right, 118. Eastman, Wade Smithy again. Ah! Is it over the top? It is, yes! That is the late momentum. And that is 50k, is it? I think it is. Got to get it in the zone, Ty. You've got to get it in the zone. It's there. Taylor gets it. And gets it for six to finish. How appropriate is that? Some big hitting from, shall we say, the senior man. And New Zealand are going to finish tonight at 243 for six. And to be fair, this crowd of 30,000 plus have hardly sat down through the whole 20 overs. Simply amazing stuff. Oh, it'll be four. It'll be four wides as well. Over the top. Yes, it is. Chipped but timed from David Warner. 11 without loss after one. Look at a two with 50 grand. Outside edge. Go all the way as well. Give all the That's ridiculous. It's a thick outside. Inside edge. More luck. <laughs> Everyone's a winner. Hot chocolate. Edge cricket. It's earned his way into this Australian side. This time. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, you feel. You feel for the bowlers, surely. Well, he's a cracking bat. This is a new one. Thick inside edge, thick outside edge. Four. I was just looking to see Ed, both of his boundary fielders out on the legs. Right. Oh, down, down, diving away, Tim Seifert. Pick up four. Oh, it's a chance, is this? It's in the air a long time. Gets that one, gets it behind square, picks up four and more. 16 from that over, Australia off to a flyer, 43 without loss. Oh, another one, another inside edge. Might not pick up four this time, will Sody stop it? No, he can't, it just kept running away from him. We were just saying, Darcy Short. Quiet. Swung away, will it go all the way? Yes, it will. Yes, it will, you betcha. Where's Mitchell? Is he out there? High in the air and long way over, long on as well. Another six for David Warner. Great striking. Well, he... Too short, too short. Four more, add them to the extras, Bumble. Got to get together, New Zealand. Getting away, Australia. Well, he's going to have to do something because this is just becoming a riot here. Sure. Five men inside the circle on the offside. Saudi gets hit straight. The six, just a chip, just a chip. That's extraordinary. Oh, he's lit that guy's fuse. Now then, that is massive again. Huge. Top deck west stand. No doubt there. Six anywhere, 91. That has hit so hard, so hard. Poor delivery, and Australia have 100 already. We've got what it deserves. That is four, and David Warner has 50. Off just 20 balls, and he hasn't finished yet. That through the middle has been New Zealand's weapon. That's a bad delivery, and it coughs it again. Just been pressured into bowling mistakes. Stage. Yeah. Got him! Oh, they're on their feet at last! That was a wrong end. He tried to play it off the back foot, Warner got it wrong. One mistake. 
That's the wicket New Zealand needed. And it was the Google. David Warner going on the back foot to try and hit it away to the onside. And misses it completely. Maybe just a lack of pace off the surface and straight through the end of a fine innings from the skipper. 24 for one. Now this is up and over and it didn't look to be that well timed. Solidly down the ground. This will test mid on and mid off, and they get nowhere near it. Went like a tracer bullet. I know you're used to big crowds, but what do you think of the atmosphere here? Oh, look, it's absolutely amazing. You know, you talk to a few of the rugby union boys that play here all the time. There's a look at there, Dave. Unfortunately, what we'll do is we'll head upstairs, but we'll wish you all the very best. Thanks, mate. And the man that takes it is Martin Guthrie. Yeah, <laughs> look, he blows a raspberry out there. Almost death like in the approach there. This time he goes length and he gets smashed to the onside. Oh, it's as easy and as simple as you like. Look out in hospitality, it's coming your way. Oh, I just hardly missed the block hole, but that's all it takes today. Another one high into the stands. And see, he's trying to bolt full and straight or full, but he's missing. Go short again. That's risky. Really risky. Yeah. And it's four more. 162 for two. A string of wickets when no one could find the middle of the fence. Here's Wheeler. And there goes Wheeler. It's not Wheeler's night. I was just going to say, Ben Wheeler coming back for his third over, having another go. And again, over the offside. This is in the gap too. Does it go all the way? Not quite. But he's come back. He's bowled two balls here, Wheeler. Look to play the little, the little scoop shot. No, he goes short, the slower ball, and that is some brilliant batting. That is some outstanding play. Well, just clear thought. But the task at hand, that they should be tremendously confident. And that helps. That was just a long hop, though, and he just picked his spot and smashed it. Seemed to be his Saudi. Punched down the ground, dead straight. Yet another boundary, they are making a mockery of this world record. But they got him. Maybe a bit of bottom edge involved there. Maxwell's furious with himself. It was on for him to close the deal as he did the other night. Not tonight, though. Oh, yeah, that's too high, I think. Yeah, it's been called no ball. So there's going to be a free hit. That is the worst possible result from New Zealand's point of view. Oh, that's got away as well. The bowlers get the yips. Uh, yeah, we do. We do. Oh, Hurricanes. So apologise to all Hurricanes fans. Straight up. Tim Seifert, be the man. You are. So using Bolt has worked. Is there a late charge coming? That is huge for New Zealand. Bolt's the man. Beautiful shot. Wasn't that bad a ball, but uh, the way he worked it down to fine leg was superb. So that's a huge... Australia, not possible. Not now, maybe. One of the most eventful overs you'll ever see has finally come to an end. 25 for one. It produced. Absolutely chocker, Seddon Park, Sunday night. Beautifully done. Against the angle coming into him. That is superb and very clever. Goodness me. How big's that? As they say, 
that is that. A catch that means absolutely nothing to that bloke, except he should hold on to the ball and put it in his pocket. But the fact of the matter is this. That massive hit from Aaron Finch has put a full stop on a world record run chase by Australia. And can you believe it? They have seven balls to spare. Seven balls to spare. That's extraordinary. Uh, I've 